Hey guys, how are you? Are you ready for a quick story of my life? Let's start. This is me, Magali Lorana Chibopo. I was born December 16, 1993. Look at me. I was a cute baby. These two good looking individuals, my parents. And these two brown heads around me, my little brother on the right and my big sister on the left. My childhood was pretty simple. I was just most of the time surrounded by my family. Hey, hey, Mags, right here. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you back there. How are you? So the baby pictures, the family pictures, this is all cute. But really what I want to talk about is track and field. It's been 11 years that I'm running track and I just want to share with you what's, what's happening. Let's go. Alison Felix, not me. Even if I could see kind of a resemblance. Anyway, she's one of my favorite female runner of all time, a role model, a champion. You still didn't see it? All right, next. And then we have the queen, my queen, Blanka Vlasic, the best high jumper of her generation, a machine, a champion. She was an example to me. I wanted to be her. High jump was my first love in track and field. To this day, I still love it. Track and field taught me a lot about myself. I'm a natural, shy, and introvert person, but when it comes to track, I just turn into beast mode. I've been to places, you know, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, and I've been around friends a lot. So now I'm in the United States and let's see how it started. January 2015, Arizona, here I come. Not that Arizona. More like this. All like this. But especially like that. You gotta do it. Just do stop, it. Stop, 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 Max. I'm trying to get like a... I need to put my finger up. Get it. Central Arizona College. Let's go Vaqueros. I had the best coaches. The best teammates. I would say the best uniform. Definitely the best hurdle crew. And I guess I did okay over there. Probably the best first year I could have imagined. I spent two years at Central Arizona College and I didn't really officially graduate. Fail, fail, fail. I would say. Long story short, I failed my math class. Told you. Yeah. So what was I thinking? I wasn't I wasn't going to class. I hated my math teacher. But um, yeah, so I ended up not being eligible for a D1 school when I took all my visits to D1 school, Arizona State, Campbell University, Kentucky, the Gamecocks. I was ready to go to a D1 school. But because I wasn't eligible, I had to find a D2 school. So I spent the whole Christmas 2016 break looking for a D2 school last minute. So my coaches, they were just calling me, call that coach, call this coach, talk to this coach, talk to that coach. So I ended up a few days before New Year's, I ended up choosing St. Augustine University. I was in contact with Coach William and he was like, okay, I'm waiting on you uh, on the, for the 5th of January. I was like, the 5th? The 5th? 
Okay, so I had to hurry up, pack all my stuff, and go. I didn't know anything about Senod. I just knew they were willing. I was hearing, yes, Senod is in Jura City, the best day to school, the best day to school. I was ready to be part of the loop. I left Central Arizona College pretty strong. Go Central! So I was ready to start strong at St. Og. However, it didn't happen how everybody was expecting it to happen. Eligibility, back at it again. I wasn't eligible for track and field. So the whole season, indoor, outdoor season, the NCAA wasn't giving me my eligibility. So I wasn't able to compete. It was so frustrating. I felt like I was wasting my time. December 2017, the NCAA finally gave me back my eligibility. I was back in business. First track meet, mm. second track meet, mm. third track meet. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what is happening? I was doubting. I was wondering, do I still have it? It's been a year and a half, I didn't compete. Maybe I'm over. But, you know, I guess I just need to warm up a little bit. You know, just a little bit. And when I finally got back in the loop, that's what happened. Nobody could beat me. Nationally, your fifth place finisher, the junior from St. Augustine's, 19 feet 10, three quarters for Ali Shpopo. It has already been busy in this meet. She had a pick in the long jump, eighth in the high jump. She was the CIAA champion in the long jump and the triple jump, first in the pentathlon and high jump. Magali Shpopo of St. Augustine's. get to be national champion but it's okay I did my best with all the complications that I had with my LGBT the fact that I wasn't competing I did the best I could and it wasn't easy but are we finishing the weekend how, but I really how, did the best I could the weekend, girl? craziness okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so now I know what you're gonna ask what's next well guys I don't know so I guess I'll see you later Bye. Kidding, I'm still here. But I still don't know. So see you.